Good morning, Calvin. Oh, lovely start to the day. No sleep, huh? <laughs> We're up bright and early before sunrise, headed to the tide pools. Low tide should be around 621 and negative 1.77 feet which is very, very low, so we're very excited. Hopefully we'll see lots of creatures on the exposed rocks. Beautiful, beautiful exposed rocks. Exactly what we came here for. Lots of creatures should be out and about. See it's far away over there? We'll stay far, far away. We'll let the rest of the seaweed is super slippery. You need to be super careful. Oh, first find of the day red rock crab. You can see it's a male. Females will have a much wider bottom of the shell here. We're we'll turning into the rocks. Ooh, a monkey face seal. Let's take a quick look at it in the bucket. Really beautiful eel. These are technically prickle bags, a different family of fish than eels, but they look really similar. These can survive for a really long time out of water, so it's perfectly fine. crabs and the shore crab. These have really, really weak pinches. The biggest porcelain crab we've seen today. They have really, really weak pinches. Though they look really big, they're actually really fragile. Harmless to hold. We have our first sea stars of the day. We have some beautiful Osher sea stars. A nice orange one and a nice purple one. Along the coast, a lot of these have died out from like a sea star rotting disease. It's really great to see these Keystone species thriving in this coastal ecosystem. Oh, here's another one. It's hiding in the algae. Oh! There we go. Beautiful male rock crab. Here's a hermit crab, perfectly safe to touch. You just pick, pick it up. Initially they get scared. But if you just wait a second, and be patient, it'll realize we're actually friends. Okay, come on. <laughs> Does not want to realize we're friends. Okay, guess not. <laughs> this is a limpet. A big mollusk with a bunch of small barnacles up here as well. And the smaller bit. These adhere really tightly to the rocks. You can see it budges a little bit, but it suctions really powerfully. We got our first bat star of the day. You can gently lift it up and take a look at the underside. You see all the two feet? They use these to move along the, the rocky ocean floor. And the mouth is right in the middle of all the legs. Put it right back to where it was. Calvin found this. Oh! oh. <laughs> Damn. Well, Calvin found this stranded jellyfish. Not sure what species it is. For all jellies, pretty much the bell is safe to touch. <laughs> Very promising. Oh, that is fat. That's a big eel. Here's another eel. Yeah. Oh, ow. I think it's a gunnel. Where'd the eel go? Oh, the she went behind you. <laughs> Lovely catch. Solid size monkey face eel. How fat it is. Put it back under the rock. big stranded jellyfish. You can see the tentacle here. Here is perfectly fine to touch. Very soft. Damn, this is huge. 
another stranded sea nettle. It's upside down. You can see all the tentacles around the edge and the mouth in the middle. Tide's coming in now, so we've seen a lot of cool stuff, but now it's time to head out.